Hi, good afternoon everyone. My name is Daniel David. And I'm Elizabeth Glick. And this is our senior project design presentation, the Piano Key Action. Now, what some of you may know is that a standard full-size piano has 88 keys. The, the color of it is usually white or black. And, the th and this is a representation of an upright piano action. Now, the way a piano action works <clears throat> is that once a user presses and holds down a key, the hammer then hits the string which creates a sound and causes the string to vibrate. And at the simultaneously, the damper then moves off of the string so that the sound can be made possible. However, once the user lifts off their finger off the key, then the hammer then moves away from the string and the damper then makes contact with the string once again, which creates the sound to become silent and to stop vibrating. So there's a few different pieces of equipment that we are going to need. There are uh, pianos in the McKenzie complex. So what we did is we took a tuner and tested all of the pianos up there. And we figured out which piano was the most in tune because we want to have a solid tuned piano for the basis of our graphs and our program. Uh, we're also going to need to use a microphone. Uh, Professor Hunt has agreed to let us use one. and we are going to take the signal from the microphone and can bring that into LabVIEW. And uh, with the graphs that are generated in LabVIEW, we're going to check them against the graphs on the oscilloscope just to make sure that we wrote our LabVIEW program correctly. And we are also going to need to use Excel and SolidWorks. Now, on this slide, this shows a piano action animation where it's showing the hammer hitting the string and the damper coming off the string uh, in motion. We plan to create a SOLIDWORKS model where we will also as well show the motion of how a piano action works. Over the winter break, me and my partner, Elizabeth Glick, we are planning to measure components of our personal pianos where we can actually design and create in SOLIDWORKS all the parts and put together uh, so that we can also display the piano action. However, if there are any components that we cannot measure or find the dimensions of, we will contact various piano companies so, to find further information and hopefully dimensions. So different uh, forces that you hit the key with produce different looking graphs. The graphs on the left are when you very, very lightly hit the key and there's one fundamental frequency and as you can see, it does look like a sine curve. And the harder you hit the key with, the more secondary frequencies it will produce. And as you can see over here, there are a few fundamental frequencies and it no longer looks exactly like a sine curve. So we are going to uh, use a filter in LabVIEW to filter out those secondary frequencies so we can get one solid fundamental frequency. And with the graphs that we produce in LabVIEW, we're going to use the amplitude, the period, and the frequency of those graphs to determine what force the user hit the key with. Now, we will create a program in LabVIEW that will display on the front panel about which key is being hit. Each key has its own frequency, which is the foundation that we will use when building the program. Uh, since each key has its own frequency and therefore its own waveform graph, we will be able to compare a graph of uh, the same key for a different piano against ours. And there's a certain tolerance that the other piano should be within our graphs. And if it's with outside of that tolerance, the user will know that their key is um, either sharp or flat. And if it's within that tolerance, they will know that they don't have to tune it. 
Now, our final product will contain two things. The first is a gauge that will display the uh, force that the key is being hit with. We will have a minimum force, which is as lightly as possible a user can hit a piano key that will still create a sound. And we will also have a maximum force that where a user can hit a piano key as hard as possible and that will also represent the maximum force. And the second part of the final product in this is that the program that will display all 12 different keys that are in an octave that's being hit. So the cost for this project is very low. Uh, the pianos are up in the McKenzie complex, so we don't have to uh, buy a keyboard or anything. Uh, the, as I stated, the microphone will be provided by Professor Hunt as well as an oscilloscope. And the school provides to the students for free Excel and SOLIDWORKS that they can download on their own personal computers, so we have done that. And uh, the only thing that we will need to buy is LabVIEW. The school does provide LabVIEW to the students for free, but they're only on a very limited yeah. amount of computers, and uh, those computers are in labs that are often in use. So we are going to download LabVIEW ourselves for $20, and there's two of us, so that's going to be a total cost of $40. Now there are four general goals that we have for this project. We're going to develop a LabVIEW program to show the waveform graphs by February 27th, and we hope to gather and make a data acquisition by March 10th. And by using this data acquisition, we hope to update the LabVIEW program to show the desired outputs by the end of April. As stated before, me and my partner, we're going to be creating a SOLIDWORKS model of an upright piano action in motion. But the latest this has to be completed is by the end of April as well. Uh, these are our citations. And does anyone have any questions? All right. Well, thank you for listening for our presentation. And we hope you have a good day.